Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are diving back into interview lighting. I'm gonna show you guys some recent interviews that I filmed and then kind of take you through the behind the scenes in hopes that this would help you improve your interview lighting as well. To get things started, this is the room that we were in. You might recognize it from another video here on my channel. Client wanted this backdrop vibe, so we put it against this wall. And so our second camera angle would be pointed into the neutral wall. Camera wise, we filmed this on two Fujifilm X-H2Ss and the Suray Nightwalker Cine lenses. No F-Log, we were just shooting in classic chrome. After getting the backdrop and the camera set up, step one was to turn the room lights off. These look really gross and we can't really control them. Step two is gonna be placing your key light. For this, I went with a big eight by eight sheet of bleached muslin from a fabric store and just blasted a lot of light into it. We placed this as close as we could where it still wasn't in the frame, 45 degrees or so off to the right of our subject. I didn't have my other Nanlite FS300 with me, so that is why you're gonna see two lights here. The first one is the Falcon Eyes RX18 TD. We had this at 100% and 5600 Kelvin. The other light is in the Nanlite FS60B, also at 100% and 5600 Kelvin. You don't need these specific lights, so use whatever you have, and you will see that because we're using two of them here, it's basically filling out this big sheet, giving us one big source. I also want to mention this obviously isn't the only way to key light your subject. I actually made another video here that you can go check out. It shows you guys a bunch of different options of ways to key light a subject, anything from really small, simple setups like a softbox to much larger setups and book lights and even really budget-friendly options like a shower curtain. So feel free to go check that out. From there, we added this hair light. It's the Nanlite Power Tube 15C, but you can do this with any tube light. This is on a long boom arm because we are shooting quite wide on the A-cam, but you could use a C-stand or something similar. So this light is going to help separate our subject from the background and just overall gives more shape to the image. Our last light that we had running here was the Nanlite FS300 at 5% going through a projection attachment, but you could also do this with barn doors or something else to help cut and shape the light onto the background. This light is not necessary, but it definitely adds just a little bit of interest to the background as it is quite plain. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I didn't add any bounce or negative fill as I was really liking how the image was looking. Really quick, here's me cycling through all the lights. Here is our key light, and then adding the hair light, and then the background streak. Here is just the streak and the hair light, then just the hair light, just the streak, and then finally we add back in our key light and everything is back on. Color grading these was a breeze with my LUTs. Check them out if you want. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Hope it was helpful to you. Drop any questions in the comments down below. Would love to answer. And that's all I've got. Peace.